Hey guys, welcome to Jay's Two Cents coverage here at CES 2015, and we are hanging out here at the Cooler Master Suite at the Palms in Las Vegas. Now, one of the things Cooler Master has listened to when it comes to customer feedback is they have just such a huge portfolio of product, it can become very difficult and overwhelming for a new buyer, or even an a, a experienced buyer, to find the right product when you have so many different SKUs that have just small variants. So what Cooler Master is actually doing in 2015 is they're simplifying their product line to make it easier for the consumer to identify what it is they want with their product, and then to shop within a certain tier structure. Now the way they're doing it here with tower cases is they've got their essential, mainstream, performance, and ultra. And they've kind of put together a catalog of cases that fit that particular uh, tier. And with that same concept being utilized over here in the performance and ultra, you can see with performance the idea here is you have room to expand. Like we've got the you know, CM Storm case here, which has obviously got a lot of room for a custom system. And then ultra being you know, their flagship, the Cosmos 2. So it, it really makes it simple for you guys to identify, okay, what do I want? And they've really carried that concept to their entire lineup of CM Storm products or Cooler Master products. So like I mentioned, Cooler Master is trying to really simplify their product lineup so that it's easier for the average consumer to come and pick a product. I mean, they're really sticking with that essential, that mainstream, that performance tiers. So it really becomes simple whether you're talking about keyboards or mice or headsets. You basically know what it is you want. Are you trying to just essentially buy something basic to get you by? Do you want something that's a little bit more mainstream or something that's completely performance oriented? So that's really good to see, especially with a company that had such a huge product range like Cooler Master. Now, one of the things they're bringing new, uh, well, not really new, but they're kind of re-bringing attention to is their famous, uh, at least in Europe, the G-Series power supplies. Now, this is the Bronze Series. It's an all-black PSU, semi-modular. It's actually performed really, really well out in Europe, and they're bringing this back here to the Americas. But, of course, we've got, you know, the V-Series, the gold-rated power, or gold -rated power supply, as well as the platinum-rated power supply. So it falls in that same tier lineup of essential, mainstream performance, and then ultra. So that's actually pretty good to see. Now, if we come over here and we look at systems behind us, not only are they making it simpler when it comes to choosing you know, the right products based in that tier range, they've also put together a couple of user scenarios here that kind of fit you know, more or less what is the end goal of the system you're building. These are just suggestions of, of what you could do with the different tier system that they're now bringing to the market. It's, you're not being pigeonholed into that particular lineup. But it's the whole goal of Cooler Master, at least in 2015, is to make it easier to shop for the products that you're interested in. Now there's something that's actually really cool here that I want to show you guys. It's a new type of cooler. And uh, I, I think that is going to be really interesting. So go ahead and follow me. OK, so when it comes to coolers, really things have been kind of stale in the market. You've got your standard heat pipe designer, vapor chamber, your all-in-one coolers, your custom loops. But really, when it comes to the advancement of technology of cooling, there's a physics behind it that really has just been established in our universe, and we can kind of harness some of that. Now, Cooler Master has actually teamed up with a company called Cool Chip to develop what they're calling here their kinetic cooling. Now this is actually pretty interesting. If you know anything about convection or the way that heat actually dissipates, they've basically taken a, well, it's a kinetic cooler where the energy is actually captured through the heat sink and the heat sink itself is rotating, which is actually promoting the convection or the, the pulling of the heat out of the, the component itself and moving it into the environment. But Cooler Masters also helped design a piece here where it's got a ton of surface area, including heat pipes. So you've got the kinetic energy, uh, the actual spinning heat sink, with the coupling, if that's even a word, the coupling of heat pipes, which are kind of standard cooling, that's pushing the air through those and giving you a massive amount of cooling because you're promoting the natural, like I said, convection of, of heat dissipation. Now what we've got over here is a small display of you know, a standard Delta fan. This is kind of a server solution here. Now Delta fans are really, really loud. In fact, you've heard my gaming server. I've got 25,000 RPM idle fans that can go up to 40,000 RPMs. If I turn on the server, everybody in the neighborhood is very upset with me. So this is just one fan, and you can hear when you turn it on, Deltas are not quiet. So what we've got over here is actually one of their kinetics uh, server solutions, which is actually dissipating more heat than a standard 40 millimeter or 30 millimeter delta fan would be pushing at high RPMs, but you can hear it's extremely quiet. So it's actually very interesting technologies. So this is something we can look forward here to in 2015 with Cool Chip and uh, Cooler Master bringing these new concepts to light. 
And the cool thing about this is it also, because it's aluminum, you could even get some cool designs. They could anodize it, they could be black, red, and you don't actually lose any of the cooling capacity because anodizing dyes the metal, and it's not like painting where you actually insulate some of that heat. So I don't have an ETA yet on when this is actually be coming to market, but I can say that this is something you guys are interested in. Speak up in the comments. I know uh, Cool It and Cooler Master are gonna be checking out to see what people are saying about this. But more cooling capacity, lower temperatures, lower noise, it's definitely a win-win. Okay, now one last thing I wanted to touch on before we get out of here, and I know this is a little bit longer video than normal, but I thought that this was kind of an important thing to talk about, is the Cooler Master Case Mod World Series. And you guys know I love custom computers. And we've got, what we've got right here is actually a case mod that was actually done by uh, Richard or you know Darth Beavis very sleek looking thing, but this is a worldwide case mod with two different categories. You got tower mod and scratch builds. Now, scratch builds are definitely where my interest is gonna be in, but it's sponsored by Intel, Asus, OCZ, and Dremel. Yeah, Dremel, I mean, really, you can't do, be a case modder without some sort of a rotary tool. So make sure you guys go check this out at mod.coolermaster.com. This is gonna be really cool, the world series of case mods, and if actually, I might have a little bit something to do with this, so stay tuned for that. But as always, guys, thanks for watching our coverage here of CES 2015. As always, a huge thank you to the crowdsources or the crowdsource uh, contributors who helped out with the Tube Start campaign to bring us here without having to bring in any sort of corporate funding or sponsorship. And as always, guys, I definitely appreciate all of your support. So stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next one. Right? That's usually how I end it. I think.